excuse me. Um, apparently most of my viewers, they're not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you could just click that little subscribe button below. I'd really appreciate it. I don't read. I don't read good. Well, hello there, everyone. Got a really exciting new gear day for you. If you don't know what it is, in our previous video when we did the Epiphone guitar, we had a delivery right in the middle of it. And today, we're taking a look at that. So if you weren't watching our previous video about the Epiphone guitar, you wouldn't know about the trials and tribulations we had with ordering this guitar, or not necessarily ordering it, but trying to return it. And since we couldn't return it, we're doing some crazy stuff to it. I mean, not too crazy, but since we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it stock, but we'll just sand it down. Looks like it's smoother already, so. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you definitely need to check out that video. But the reason why we got this guitar was we ordered it straight after we took this out of the box and saw the, all the imperfections and the split in the back of the neck. A matter of time, it's just before. Well, it looks like it's even getting bigger now, so who knows? But anyway, let's get to the real reason for this video. And the reason for this video is this guitar right here, the Fesley Les Paul. Out of the box, things nice and weighty. A little over seven pounds, I believe. It's a poplar back and front, a mahogany neck with, I believe, a D profile, they call it. The fret's much better than the Epiphone Les Paul. The fretboard's tech wood has the Fesley logo here right across the 12th fret. Flesley on the headstock, Flesley on the pickups, just in case you didn't know this was a Fesley guitar. I think it's 189 uh, on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below for you to check it out. So I believe the Epiphone was 199 before the sale, which brought it down to 149. So pretty much same comparison, but feel right out of the the box D and this one definitely feels more indicative of les paul hopefully the build quality is good believe these are both volume knobs right here one for each pickup and then the uh tone knob obviously the two humbuckers and the switch up here no neck plate in the back bolt on neck and the cavity right here for where everything is. Closed machine head tuners. That's it right out of the box. We'll string it up. Actually, you know what? Let me show you what came with this too. Not a bad little bag, especially, you know, for a beginner that's, you know, gonna be traveling with this thing. Comes with the cable, Fessily, putting their name on everything. Nice little instruction manual. Tells you how to adjust string action intonation. That's pretty cool. A lot of time, I mean, I don't think there's, you know, the Squire did, I just never looked at the manual. Information warranty, some of the Allen wrenches, like usual. Then over here, I had the stuff that was on the guitar, which was pretty cool. I'll give you a close up of it, but uh, they have a QC sticker on here, and it was QC'd on, February 5th of 2024 by product inspector. It's all stamped, so who knows if it really was done or not. And then a little chord chart. And I knew about this from, from previous videos, but I wonder if anybody noticed that the F chord was stamped on there wrong. You would think that beginning with F Fesley, that the F would be proper. And a little strap, nothing too crazy quality wise. Gonna stretch out over time, not too comfortable probably so, but would definitely recommend some strap locks, especially with that weight. This is just gonna eventually route out the holes and it's just gonna fall right off, so. 
Give her a tune up real quick and see how she is out of the box. It's been sitting in the house for a little while, so it's acclimated to the temperature in the house and we'll see how it sounds. I've got the warm audio Centavo on the floor. If you haven't checked out that video, I highly encourage you to do that for a little bit of uh, dirt. See how these humbuckers handle that. <laughs> tell you, when I have humbuckers, I miss single coils. When I have single coils, I miss humbuckers. And that's why you should have them both. Then you're never missing anything. I'm not being paid to say any of this stuff. I bought this guitar and ooh, ooh, ooh. granted it's not cheaper than some of the guitars that we've been have viewing, but at $189, this definitely gets you that humbuckery goodness. What's cool about the uh, two volumes too is that The tone knob seems like it gets you some versatility out of it too. A lot of times guitars you turn a tone knob like halfway, it doesn't do anything. Don't get choked out during no bends. Obviously, bending a lot goes out of tune. All oh, fairness too, I these are the strings that came with it, so they're very scratchy, dry, and you know been on it for a while since February at least. So. Well, she's definitely a keeper. I'm digging this matte finish compared to the other one. If you can get over the fact that you're not gonna be able to get a true like glossy burst like on a normal Les Paul, this one is definitely a, a guitar for you. Gonna throw some new strings on her. Gonna might have to do a little bit of fret polish on there. Don't, can't tell if there's machine oil or if it was just the old strings on here. It's felt a little scratchy during bends, but pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. All opinions were my own and I wasn't paid to say anything and I'm keeping this puppy 
for myself. You've been a fantastic audience, and as always, stay tuned.